guys, so it is 2016! It feels like only yesterday that I was saying that it was 2015. I hope you all had a good New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. I also hope you had good holidays and a good Christmas. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the bits from my last year's resolution video and put them in between the bits in this video just for the beginning bit. Just so I can see how far I've come in a year and see if I've actually completed my New Year's resolutions or whatever or whatever. Okay, let's get straight into it. Number one is spend less time on mindless computer usage. So basically I've really sucked at this resolution because mindless computer usage is my go-to when I'm bored or when I'm doing stuff. So hopefully I can get better at this over this year as well. I think I've improved, maybe? I've caught myself so many times like scrolling through Instagram or Tumblr or Twitter or Facebook or anything like YouTube, just watching videos for no reason. And this year is the year that I'm going to change that and stop doing that. Maybe. You will see! Number two is do more painting. I kind of did some... Um, no, not really. I did paint a canvas and I did make Christmas gifts for people. That wasn't a painting, but it was on canvases. Does that count? Maybe. I don't know, I kind of want to put a more broad thing on this. Art, in general. Number three is do more photography. I want to do more this year. I have finished school so I'm hoping to get a few internships maybe as a photographer's helper or something like that because that would be like the coolest job ever. Number four, decorate my walls with more photos. If you could see my room you would see that there's like not that much wall space left. There as well I've put some new stuff up. But yeah I think I put quite a bit more stuff up on the walls so that's a, that's a plus, I finished that resolution. Number five is be more friendly. I guess I completed this, I don't know, I made quite a few new friends this year due to Frisbee and a new beach mission team and all sorts of like things that I've been to. I don't know, like we went to Rotorua and I made some friends from our geography class that I've just never talked to before. Yeah, I guess ask my friends, maybe. I know some of my friends watch this, so tell me if I've been more friendly this year. Number six, write more music. I have 100% failed at this. I've written zero pieces of music down. I have, however, like composed some random stuff on the guitar and the piano, but I haven't written it down. I recorded a few, but I didn't like them, so I didn't bother writing them down. But this year, hopefully, I'll be able to write some more stuff as I'm gonna teach myself how to play guitar, and I'm going to keep learning piano even though I've finished, I've done grade eight. But I'm going to try and keep doing it even though I'm not doing grades and I'm just going to do stuff for fun and do stuff that I want to do. So maybe you'll see some of that on this channel eventually if I like the stuff that I edit. <laughs> Number seven, work on filmmaking. <sighs> I've done nothing on this. I've done nothing apart from YouTube stuff. I did do December a second a day which was fun and amazing and I want to do that every single day for this year. But I haven't really done filmmaking per se. I kind of want to do some this year, maybe with the internship that I try and get with a photographer, or if my dad just gives me like a project or something. I don't know. Give me some ideas for filmmaking ideas and I can try them out. Also, me and my cousin are working on a cover mashup slightly thing which I'm probably not allowed to say, but that's okay. Um, and I want to do the music video for that, so I'm going to storyboard that and film that. And that should be interesting, and also like a filmmaking kind of thing. So, yeah, you might see that eventually when we get round to recording it. <laughs> Number eight, maybe, is record some covers. And this is related to just the thing that I just said, and I haven't done this in 2015, but I have got them planned for 2016 because we started planning it in like December or November last year but we're gonna do that this year and hopefully I'll be able to do some more some recording like actual recording of my own stuff without my cousin and that should be interesting maybe if I like the stuff that I record again number nine save up for paints I don't know why I put this in there I guess I bought some paints <laughs> I did it that's a resolution ticked off, so that's great. Number 10, maybe? Spend only one hour each day on mindless things. Yeah, I definitely stuck to this one. I'm gonna try better in 2016 though, because I need to get a job and I need to get all my stuff sorted and everything done. Number 11 or 12, maybe? Um, read the Bible every day. I am not gonna lie, I didn't do this. I didn't read it every single day. I did try. I got very busy with school 
but I will try very hard this year. I have got many devotional books down there that help me get through it all, and I'm trying to read some of the Bible every single day just because it's great. It's like the best book ever. So number 12 is study better. Compared to 2014, I actually studied really, really well because 2014 was like my uh, year, my like slacking off year that I didn't do any study and I just couldn't be bothered doing anything and I failed miserably. Not failed, but like I didn't pass a couple of subjects and stuff. 2015, I have high hopes for. My results actually come out in two days, so I'm really terrified for that, but nah, hopefully it'll be alright. I have confidence though, I think I did pretty well in my end of year exams. Don't jinx it, touch wood. I touched wood. That's proof that I touch wood. There's wood here too. I'll just touch- the floor is wood. Number 13 is kind of related to that, you listen in class more. I guess I did this better than in 2014. I know I did slack off sometimes. But number 14, read 15 books this year and review them as a video. This was part of Becca Sprinkle's challenge, the 15 15 book challenge. You read 15 books in one year. I failed because I only read 11 new books, which was really stupid because obviously I must have been busy. I'm gonna try and complete that and do it again this year. So do like 16 books, I guess, because it's 2016 now. That's a weird concept to think about. But I'm going to try and read some new books this year, and plus I'm not doing school, so I can do other books that I want to read, and I've got like a whole pile of to-be-reads over there. There's like 10 of them at least, so that's all of them in like one go. Number 15 is don't bite your nails. And look at my nails. Okay, right now they look pretty crap, but that's because I just cut them. But I am so pleased with myself. I think I only bit them during exam time, because I was stressed out about exams. But other than that, my nails are so healthy and so nice and I just feel like I have completed something this year because I did not bite my nails that many times. Number 16, do more spontaneous things. I guess I've done this, I guess, I don't know, I've gone out a bit more, done a few more things with my friends. I want to improve in 2016, obviously, and I just want to take like every opportunity that I get to do anything just in case it leads to something else later in life, like frisbee. I spontaneously started playing frisbee in 2015. I enjoy it so much! It's 17. To spend less money. Well, I have money in my wallet right now, which proves that I've spent less than last year. Number 18. Get a job. I didn't actually get a job per se, but I have been doing work experience in a secondhand clothes shop, which is excellent. I've been helping my granddad with filing, just today actually, filing and like surveying stuff. And I've also um, helped with being a caregiver to like a disabled kid, or like a friend of my mum's kid, which was really cool and I, could, I can do loads more of that as well. And my main goal for 2016 is actually to get like a part-time job or a full-time job because I'm on a gap year currently, so I kind of need to do something with my life other than slob around playing Minecraft all day. And number 19, get a license. I did actually complete this one. I got my learner's license. So now that I've talked about the resolutions that I had last year and compared them to this year, I'm going to just list off a few things that I've got planned for this year and my resolutions that I want to do. Some of these I've mentioned before, but I just want to list them off again so that I can do a video kind of like this in 2017 as well. So number one, I want to get a job. Number two is photography. I want to do more photography. I really enjoyed doing a second a day in December and I want to try and do a second a day every single day of the year so that at the end I can just have like a 365 second long thing which will probably be amazing and it's just like a quick recap of my year. And number three, I mentioned this before with photography internships. I want to try and get a radio internship and a photography internship. Um, I really want to go onto Life FM and just try it out, try out radio. I think I'd be kind of good at it. I've never tried it before, but I think it would be enjoyable to have as experience and just to do it as well. So I really want to do that. Number four, I want to try and get my restricted license so I can drive by myself. Number five, I have mentioned before, and it's the books. I want to try and read at least 16 new books plus the four that I missed off last year's um, thing. So that would be 20 books total in the year, so it's kind of like... A 20 book reading challenge I guess, uh, new books that is, and I want to try and review them all as well in videos. Number six, filmmaking I mentioned before, I want to do a second a day basically. I want to do more filmmaking, I want to do music videos, I want to do all sorts of things. They were all just in my head and I just can't do them at the moment, but I plan on doing them so that should be interesting. Number seven, I want to take some extra classes for photography, for art, for a whole lot of other things that I haven't really thought of yet, but I want to try and do them so I can broaden my spectrum. 
of like learning and things that I know so I can put on my experience so that I can get jobs in that kind of area. Number eight, I want to travel. I want to travel all around New Zealand and I want to do road trips because all my friends are getting their licenses so I'm just going to hitch on them. Number nine, I want to stay fit. I'm not actually that fit but I am playing frisbee this year so I want to keep my fitness up and I want to stay kind of healthy rather than eat lots of junk food. Number 10, I want to eat fruit more. I actually am so fussy about the fruit that I eat. I can't eat apples, I don't like oranges all the time, all these things. Um, but I really want to get into eating more fruit, like just all the time. If I'm hungry, I'll just have a piece of fruit. I know it's not going to last long. Number 11 is work on hobbies. So I recently got like a whole lot of colouring books and things. So I want to do that and I also want to do photography as a hobby rather than as a job. I think it would be cool to be like a photographer as a job, but it's more of a hobby for me, so I'd rather not have like a set thing that you have to do and just go around taking photos of whatever you want. And I want to try colouring and more drawing and art and stuff throughout the year. Number 12, I want to sort out my next year's plans before I get to December and start freaking out about it. Number 13 is I want to make better quality videos. And the last one is get outside more. But yeah, those are my 2016 resolutions and my 2015 ones and that's where I'm at at the moment. And hopefully you'll see another one in 2017 of how much I've improved. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up and comment down below your New Year's resolutions. Or tell me what you got for Christmas. I want to know. That's subscribe down below if you haven't already and check out all my social media stuff which is in the down bar below. And I will see you all next week with another video. Bye, guys! This is the story of a girl Who cried a river and drowned the whole world And while she looked so sad in photographs Also, one more thing. If you have seen Star Wars, please comment down below or write to me on Tumblr or Twitter or something because I need to talk about this. It is amazing. I've seen it twice already and I want to see it again. And it is so beautiful and just amazing and fantastic and... I want to see it again. Did I mention that? I don't know. I want to see it again because it's amazing. <laughs> My tripod's broken so that's fun.